Yo, what's going on everyone? Amir Himir, owner of Rappin' and Snack, and coming at you another video. And this one's gonna be in my Benny the Butcher Plugs at 2 lunchbox bundle collection. I'm also gonna be showing a couple of the pressings for this release because it can get a little confusing with the different track listings and whatnot. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit me up on Instagram at Rappin' and Snack, and I'm always posting hip hop stuff, a bunch of my collection and whatnot. So gonna start off with the actual lunchbox itself first. Um, these are currently being sold through the Shop Get On Down website. I know there's 2,000 in quantity. They're selling for $58.98. It includes the lunchbox, the CD, the towel. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show all those up close. First off, with the actual lunchbox itself, you can go ahead and see that uh, Benny the Butcher is outlined right here. It's not just a, a flat image. Uh, you can go ahead and see the um, overlay, whatever. You got Benny the Butcher right there. You got the plugs I met to text right there. Black Soprano family on both sides. And then you got the actual top for you to hold it. So this is the lunchbox itself. And on the back, we see Benny the Butcher and his logo right there. So boom. Now let's go ahead and open it. All right. So when you receive it, it actually comes in bubble wrap. It doesn't just come like this. I just took out the bubble wrap. Um, but now, first off, what you see first, aside from the bubble wrap, is the towel. So let me go ahead and show the towel first, and I'll go ahead and show the CD itself. So the towel's red, and what do you know? Plugs I met, two. Boom. Pretty cool. And then you got the back right here, which is just plain. You know, it's got the tag, which, you know, it's just made in China, but doesn't say anything Benny related. But boom, the plugs in my towel right there. Pretty cool. You know, I like getting little items like this. Um, you know, down the line, I'm sure, let's say in like 10, 15 years, I'm sure someone will just try and sell this towel for, let's say, 50, 60, 100 bucks, whatever it is. They'll probably try and sell it on eBay or something. And it's funny because the people who are buying it in 10, 15 years, or whatever, may not know this was part of an actual like uh, lunchbox bundle or anything like that. So um, it's very interesting what like these box sets and whatever will happen in the future with them. So then anyways, moving on, we have the CD itself. This is the plugs I'm at two CD. Um, this is an alternate cover to what the original plugs I'm at two uh, cover was. And I'll go ahead and show that right now. I have it on my side. We have the plugs I'm at two. This is the original pressing and this is this deluxe edition pressing right here. So first off, we have the spine, we have the back. So it's important to note the original pressing that I just shown to the side of this, it has eight tracks on it. And now you're wondering, well, this has 18 tracks on it. Well, this has 18 because it also includes the instrumentals. And then you may wonder, well, then that means that there's should be nine songs on the original pressing. Well, what they did is they added a bonus track called Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving, this is the first time it is on a CD release. Uh, it was also pressed on the vinyl release. So it, it gets a little confusing. That's why I said I'm gonna go ahead and, and show y'all a little differences here. But this now has 18 tracks, got the instrumentals, got the bonus track Thanksgiving, finally making it to CD format. I kept the hype sticker right here, uh, just as I always keep the hype stickers if I can. You have the CD right there, boom. Deluxe edition, as you can see, it says right there. Then we got the actual image behind the CD. And then we have the actual artwork and booklet right here. So I actually really appreciate this booklet. Uh, and I'll tell you why right now, because it has quite a bit of information. It has lyric sheets. It has, uh, you know, cool images of Benny the Butcher. It's got, you know, all the tracks in, in big text with the features right there. So it's a pretty well done booklet. And this is seldom seen in the, I mean, in the last 10 years, you don't really see booklets uh, this filled with this many pages. So that's pretty cool. You know, this is kind of how it used to be in the 90s and the early 2000s. You'd have these thicker booklets uh, with actual content within them and new images and whatever. Now it's like you're lucky to even get a booklet with two or three pages. <laughs> so 
that's what's funny. So yeah, you get all this stuff, boom, boom, boom. And it's the final track, Thanksgiving, you got the exec producers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then you get that image right there. So I did definitely appreciate uh, that part of this. And let me go ahead and show y'all the actual original. This, so you'll see why. So this is also on a jewel case, obviously. The original is on a digi pack. And look, there's nothing here. Oh, this is the hype sticker too. But there's nothing here. It's just you know, the credits, but there's no booklet or anything like that. Then you have the CD itself, uh, and this is the hype sticker. And then you get what's behind the CD. Boom. So, boom. Yeah. Um, there you go. But as you can see, the actual CD itself, or sorry, the deluxe edition CD itself is far better when it comes to actual, you know, have, being in a jewel case, having bonus tracks, having, you know, the lyric sheet and the extra images, it's far better. So that's, that's that. And when I was just mentioning a couple interesting pressings that I have in addition to that uh, bundle set and the original CD, also take a look at these records right here. I have the original pressing um, on vinyl. And as you can see, we have the blue hype sticker and then we have the original eight songs and the album instrumentals. We'll then take a look at this. Plugs I met to um, Repress. It's got a white hype sticker and it has Thanksgiving right here. <laughs> so it has the bonus track, but it doesn't have the instrumentals. So that's just super interesting. Um, very, very, very interesting why they did that. So, like I said, there's a couple very interesting um, pressings. Uh, you know, the repress does have instrumentals, but it has Thanksgiving. So it's like these little things that maybe people don't know or don't know existed. Then I also have the tape pressing, which is also interesting because the tape pressing, as you can see, it has the hype sticker on it still. Uh, the tape pressing doesn't have Thanksgiving, but it has the instrumentals. So this is very similar to the um, original vinyl pressing right here, as you can see. So same thing right there, boom, boom. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if they'll um, sell the tape pressing with Thanksgiving eventually on it. Uh, maybe they're working on that, maybe it's out there and I just missed it. But anyways, um, this is my Plugs I Met 2 collection. I find it to be a very interesting release um, because like I said, there's just so many different variants from track listings to ones with instrumentals to ones with Thanksgiving. Uh, then you get like the deluxe edition with a different cover and you have like this box set uh, with the towel. So I think it's a great little, um, little just situation with everything involved in it. You know, uh, definitely, especially if you're a fan of Benny the Butcher or Griselda in general. But the project itself, I, I enjoy it. I'm not the biggest fan of it, uh, but I do think there are some good cuts on it. Shout out to Harry Fraud on the production aspect of it. He's been a dope producer, particularly from uh, post-2010. He's definitely someone who I've been listening to quite a bit on the production aspect. But don't want to turn this into a full review. I wanted to show you all the pressings and especially the bundle set uh, so shout out to Get On Down. Appreciate y'all as always. Let me know your favorite tracks, if you got any, or some other pressings. I know I don't have all the pressings here. I've been showing off my personal collection. So appreciate y'all as always. Hit me up on Instagram at Rappin' and Snackin'. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bless. Peace.